Hey everybody, this is Polio Jr. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys my uh, top picks for uh, free uh, driver software programs uh, for your uh, Windows PC or laptop. Now, uh, really quick, a driver program uh, allows you to install software for uh, actual hardware devices. So anything that's plugged in via a USB port to the computer, for instance, a printer, uh, a scanner, uh, even a mouse or a keyboard, to anything that's actually built into the computer, uh, a CPU, a video card, a sound card, all that good stuff. Uh, I use this primarily when I am installing a new operating system. So I install Windows 7 on a lot of uh, computers and I have to get a lot of drivers. So instead of going through Google, you know, one at a time at a time looking for all of them, I get one program and one program allows me to install these drivers, uh, allowing all of the hardware to work appropriately. So the first one we're going to look at is uh, Driver Booster. And both the programs I'm going to show you are completely free. They do have perks about uh, when you do buy, uh, when you do upgrade, but the free ones are perfectly fine. So here, just driver booster. Uh, here's the website up here. I'll also put a link in the description. Uh, click free download. It's going to forward you to download.com. And obviously from there, just click download now and let it install uh, after it's finished downloading. Once driver booster is finished downloading, uh, you're going to open it up, you're going to click scan, and it's going to go through the process here. And to, to even give you one very specific example, say you just bought a printer, and uh, or you've had a printer for a couple years, you plug it into your machine via USB port, and the printer doesn't work. So you can either A, you know, go to Google and search for the driver specifically, or you can just download a program like this, Driver Booster, and it would come up over here on the left. You would click Update, and then uh, it will update the software and then also install it as well. So these are actually ones that I've chosen not to uh, update. I've updated everything else. But uh, I would I would definitely recommend uh, updating as many as possible, and especially if you see where it says extremely old, if they say it's missing, definitely install it. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you at the start menu. If you go to start uh, and then or on the newer version of Windows, type in device, and then go to device manager. And now this is a list of everything, anything that's hardware um, that's connected to your computer. So anything from uh, hard drives, the your video card, uh, CD-ROM drives, mice, keyboards, network, you know, Wi-Fi adapters, processors, uh, sound cards, all that good stuff. And these things do need to be updated every once in a while. So and especially if they're missing. So if you have this, if you open up Device Manager and you see anything that is already expanded and has a question mark on it or something like that, you definitely want to do a scan with uh, Driver Booster or Driver uh, Easy, which is the second one I'll show you. So in Driver Booster, we did this scan. It shows us that these drivers are old and it also shows us when uh, the last uh, update was available for these drivers. So, or for these hardware, for the hardware that's connected to. So I have, so this is a video card, uh, and I can choose to update that, and I can also choose to uh, roll back, you know, to the previous um, update that this uh, sound card had. <laughs> I can uninstall it from here, and all that good stuff. So if I were to choose it, choose a uh, device, I would say, okay, so this is my video card right here, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GT610, that's my video card. Now I know personally that my video card is working fine, um, but if I did want to, I would just click uh, update, so I'll actually do it for this, for my PCI bridge. I click update, I don't do activate now, I just do con continue update. With driver booster, you get an 
uh, unlimited bandwidth, so you can download um, at the fastest speed possible. So there's no there's no limit, there's no throttle to your speed, uh, and then it will actually install when it's finished. The other thing that's cool about this is that you can actually uh, download all of your outdated drivers at the same time with Driver Booster, which is fantastic. So I'm just waiting for that to stop. So there'll be an option here uh, that says download, and then you can actually download uh, every single driver uh, that is either missing or old uh, directly in Driver Booster, and you don't need to pay for it. So that's the one. That's why uh, I do prefer Driver Booster over Driver Easy, but I'll sh I'm going to get into why I'm showing you both. So that's pretty much all you need to know about Driver Booster. There's nothing crazy you need to do or anything like that. It does have some extra features like an error checker and that kind of stuff, but they're primarily used to download drivers that are old or that are missing. <clears throat> so after that, uh, here's their second program. And our second program is Driver Easy. Very simple, DriverEasy.com. Download now. And uh, same thing, it should take you to uh, yeah, download.com. Click download now and then uh, install it. And that'll take us, after it's done installing, you'll be prompted with this screen, Driver Easy. Scan now. It'll do the same thing that Driver Booster did. Now the biggest difference between Driver Booster and Driver Easy, there's there's two big things. So one good, one bad. The one downside of Driver Easy <clears throat> is that uh, you have a limited speed on which you can download. You can only download one uh, item at a time and your speed is throttled to around 30 to 40 kilobytes a second. So you see a 1.8 megabyte file is taking a little bit of time, which should have been done in like two seconds. So that's the only thing. But the upside to Driver Easy is that it is has a much more thorough scan. I've seen drivers missing after I've updated every single driver with Driver Booster in the past. I saw that I would still have one or two drivers that needed uh, that were still missing or that needed updating. And so what I recommend to save time is using Driver Booster first, updating everything, and then using Driver Easy second, and then see what's left. Because after, uh, yeah, so after Driver Booster is done, you want to see what's left, if anything comes up in Driver Easy. If nothing comes up in it, that's fantastic. So, but they both said the same thing that I need an update for my uh, my video card right here. And I might do that later. But if you see, if I hit update right now, you'll see that this file is going to take a while to download. Whereas if I did it in Driver Booster, uh, it would be done, you know, hopefully in a, in a minute. <coughs> so... And that's just so they can get you to pay for the uh, for the upgrade. And there's a couple other extra features in here in which you can you can look at hardware info. So it's a little bit more specific info than what Windows has to offer for you. So it shows you the exact model of the um, of the PC or laptop that you're using, and then shows you the CPU. Um, shows you the cache, shows you the motherboard, shows you uh, your memory, and then uh, also your graphics card as well. So that's pretty, I mean, it has a lot of cool extra features on it, which is nice. And you can also do some other things that Driver Booster has as well, restore, backup, install, all that fun stuff. So, but like I said, what I would do is install a Driver Booster first, update everything in there, and then install driver easy after and then see if there's anything left over I hope this video helped you out guys uh, drivers are extremely important for a machine to be running efficiently if you ever notice something wacky running or you know not working I would always uh, download one of these programs and see if you are indeed missing any drivers so that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment on this video, and I'll have more soon. See ya.